So today is a really jam-packed day. I kind of scheduled a lot of stuff for myself because I'm trying to force myself to go out and meet people. Um, well, I have to get this smog check first because that's important. And then I'm going to go to Tivoli Village. There's like a social Saturday every Saturday. And they said the first Saturday of every month, there's going to be an adoption event for puppies and kittens, I think. So I'm going to that. And I'm trying to meet more people, so I'm not bored here. I got some stuff from the farmer's market. This honey, which is, I think it's like clover honey. I also got this lip balm, which I think, I don't really know what their name is. Whoa, trippy. I also got a plant from Trader Joe's. It was like $5.99. Look how pink and cute it is. I'm planning on making pasta. So I got mushrooms, this tomato basil sauce, roasted garlic sauce, grapes, because I thought I should eat some fruits. I love pasta so much, I bought it frozen as well. Oh, and I also got bananas, but he's like super green right now. Yeah, this is my food for the week. Dog has been spotted. I feel like such a creep just staring at other people's dogs. But they're so cute. Oh. I think I need more cups. I've been drinking juice out of a bowl. Right now I'm gonna edit some pictures for Etsy. I usually use Snapseed to edit my pictures. And so these are kind of the shots that I took earlier today. And they don't look that great. But after you edit it, it should look a lot better. So let's start with this one. I usually just do tune image first and just brighten it up. Increase contrast a tiny bit. Saturation. And for highlights, I usually add a little bit, but I don't want to add too much because I'm going back later with um, the selection tool and it's gonna it's gonna lighten everything up too and so warmth I think I'm gonna turn it down a little bit okay and then that's it for tune image next I go to selective which is this one and so pretty much what you can do with this is you select an area that you would want to change like maybe the contrast or the brightness and then you can decide how big of an area you want to change I only want to do this one so I'm gonna select him and then what you do is you see the blue bar on top that's where you can see the brightness how bright you want it to be and then if you slide up, you have more options. There's brightness, contrast, saturation, and structure. So I can do more contrast. I could do more saturation. Yeah, just play around with it. So pretty much this is what my picture looks like after I've made the edits, and this is before. It's like a huge difference. And it, you can't even tell that it looked super dark and kind of pixelated before yeah if you want me to go more in depth with how i edit my pictures comment down below and then maybe i'll make a whole video dedicated to this i don't have a pan or a conventional oven so i'm using a pot to warm up my toast breakfast time i made two scrambled eggs and then toast in a pot i'm gonna put this Honey on it. I got it from a farmer's market yesterday. And then, of course, my favorite tomato ketchup on my eggs and milk.
want to name him Fred. Vicky's Draw This In Your Style Challenge. Her username is ThanksShu on Instagram. So if you guys want to do this, go go check it out. Alright, so I think I'm done with this piece for now. I always like to look at the video. I always start off with like a really really rough sketch. Go back with a more refined sketch and then start coloring it, blocking in the colors one by one, and then going back to the line art, deciding if I want to keep it. If I don't, I delete it. If I do, then it takes me a million years to figure out how or what color it should be. Hence why I started off with blue. And then I changed it to red for the line art. And then realizing the background is so, 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 so bland. So I went in and added all these sparkles and now she's done. Right now I'm really excited because a client reached out to me yesterday for an illustration project and I haven't really done freelance work for maybe a few months now. So it's kind of exciting to help other people with their project and make it come to life with art. And so right now, I'm just kind of writing up the invoice and the deal memo. This one's a little bit rushed, but I'm super excited. And hopefully I can take you guys through the process or part of the process. So usually the way I start my um, projects is I do some research on what the project is on. So in this case, I'm doing the invitation thing to a Nashville concert. So I'm pretty much just googling what the posters used to look like or what hatch print is and also just jotting down some notes and preparing myself for the sketching phase. So usually I don't like skip a step and just start painting but I got really impatient and I just kind of wanted to do the typography. Um, these are like some of the ideas I have so far but I want to do typography first. So this is what I have so far. Yeah, don't be like me and start painting before you actually get everything approved because you're probably wasting time. But I just, I'm very impatient and I just really like to paint. So honestly, I wouldn't even care if I didn't use this. It was like a great practice just doing the lettering. Um, also a hot tip for freelance, always record down how many hours you're working just in case you go over the amount that you told them. Lucky for me, my client said that if I ever go over the amount of hours I told them it would take, they would compensate me for those hours. So yeah, always make sure you don't undershoot your hours and get the money that you need to be paid for. And also because I was impatient, I couldn't wait a whole day to get palette paper, so I'm just painting on plastic for now. So that's cool. So the next phase is turning the traditional sketch work into digital sketch, just because it's a little bit cleaner for when you present it to the client. And I've been working for maybe like another hour and I only have two ideas so far. And I have to send this in tonight, so I might just do two ideas and a lot of different colorways. So this is what one of the thumbnails look like. Um, I had this one too. This one's more of a triadic colorway. This one's a two-tone colorway. And then these are like just other ideas that didn't go through. And I know why, because I did them really late at night. But they ended up choosing this one. So now it's time to start painting. So right now I'm just doing ink paintings and I usually do a bunch of these scan it together and then photoshop it and that's pretty much how I make my image after I scan everything I put it all together on a photoshop file and pretty much get rid of the white background of the paper 
and play around with how light and dark the colors are. So this is kind of like the initial phases of the way I like to paint. And then this is pretty much what I have so far. I put it in Procreate and I go back and draw like maybe the whites of the image or like small things where I don't have to paint it for it to look like it's part of the painting like maybe the little music notes and stuff like that and I'm not really sure there's like text that I'm supposed to include but it's so jam-packed that I'm not really sure if I want to put it in there but doesn't this look just so ugly it just kind of looks like I didn't learn design for four years and I just kind of slapped it on but yeah I need to figure that out and yeah I'm liking how it looks so far I think it took me around five to six hours for this piece Karen brought me a present thank you Karen I wonder what it is she totally did not ask me before I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. There's more? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Like they'll start throwing trash in there. Yeah. Wait, I actually had this before, but it expired and I was really sad. Thank you. I love grapefruit. Thank you. How did you know my face was drying up in Las Vegas? I actually used one yesterday. Oh really? Yeah. But I wanted to find a skincare routine that would help with the dryness of my skin because I know that with dry skin, it's I, I guess you're more prone to wrinkling faster and I'm only 21 so I, I want to avoid wrinkling so Wow, so aesthetic Skin is for living in Cleanser, super bottle, and moisturizer. So I guess it comes with three items. Wow, this packaging, I just have to say, is pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, it even has my name printed on it. Okay, so what is this? Whoa, this is so cool. So this is the cleanser. I'm supposed to use it twice daily, morning and night. And this is the moisturizer. I'm all for like these minimal shapes. Looks so cool. I'm excited to try this. Why are there so many bumps? This reminds me of Art Center. 